here's some basic terms to uh, consider when you're talking about nutrition of microorganisms. Uh, you may hear me call an organism fastidious. A fastidious organism is a little picky. They require pretty complex nutritional sources uh, that you can't define very clearly because a lot of times it's like I grind up a bunch of yeast extract and put it into a thing, beef broth, things that are not always consistent in their nutritional value. Some require things like uh, fetal calf serum or, or other specific nutrients, and they're really hard to grow sometimes. <coughs> a non-fastidious organism can grow on very simple media and they just produce the missing amino acids or nutrients or vitamins they need to, for growth. So they can grow on just about anything. Uh, remember, most of the organisms that we can grow are relatively non-fastidious. The ones that we can't grow, we haven't figured out why yet. Excuse me. All right, so cells, bacterial cells, typically need some sort of carbon source and an energy source. Sometimes it's the same thing, sometimes it's not. They need a nitrogen source. They need minerals. Um, fastidious organisms might also need a lipid source, so they may not be able to produce all of their own lipids for their membrane. They may need a, a vitamin source. Uh, so they require other organisms to produce some of the vitamins for them. Specific pyrimidines. Some organisms are known not to be able to produce their own uh, pyrimidine molecules. And growth factors such as hemoglobin or uh, enzymes or hormones or all sorts of things can be involved. So these are just some terms that you need to understand nutrition in bacteria.